All right, Steve Weiss owns Goldman Sachs. He joins us now. Do you agree with Jim Labenthal? I mean, Jim Cramer said today this this was I'm I'm paraphrasing, but it's like a terrible, like nothing, nothing to like. Well, look, I, I don't think it's it's just Goldman. Um, I had reduced my position, but it's still a position I have. I still think management is phenomenal. It's a bad environment for them and for other banks. Uh, you know, mortgage sales is more of a pure wealth play. Great, granted, they have banking, a lot of similar businesses, but this is, you know, the worst miss I recall them making, them having in a long time. But they've got in front of it. They announced another round of layoffs, so they sort of signaled if there's one thing that Goldman does, it gives great corporate advice to their clients. And guess what? They do it to themselves as well. So I didn't buy more today. If the environment were different, I would have, and it was just a run-of-the-mill miss. But I'm still negative on the environment, which I'm, means I'm negative on the underwriting environment, which impacts their margins and their business. So I'd wait to buy more. But I'm not hitting the, uh, you know, the parachute here and getting out at all. And look, uh, Kramer's right. I mean, it wasn't a great quarter, but so what? That's in the bag now. So if you look out, I don't know if it's six months or nine months, I'm confident that I'll be happy I own this. Well, I mean, if you believe that, that Solomon is going to do whatever he has to do, at least when it comes to what he can control, right? You mentioned the environment itself, but, you know, you can control some expenses in areas, et cetera. We'll see if, if he has uh, the ability to, to do that, in, in which, you know, Labenthal suggested he's got, you know, the clock's ticking. He's got a quarter to figure it out. Well, I think it's more than a quarter. Look, you, you know, you can overreact and say, OK, cut more heads, cut expenses, et cetera. But you got to take the long term approach when you're building a business and businesses are cyclical. So you can't just say, OK, we're going to grow again. Let's fire everybody now and then we'll restaff and get in front of the cycle. No, now's the time you build relationships with the CEOs and you you enhance the relationships that you have and you're ready for when things turn. So unless you have a crystal ball and say, hey, they're going to turn tomorrow, you take the prudent conservative path, which is, I believe, what they're doing, and then you're ready to go, you know, all guns, you know, bla all you right. know blasting when it turns. Solomon's going to be on in the morning, by the way. So you're going to hear directly from, from David Solomon from out in Davos. Uh, let me get you on Moderna real quick before I... There, there's the promo there, 7.45 a.m. Let me get you on Moderna before I let you go, because this RSV data was something that you had been looking forward to. We spoke yeah. about it very recently on Halftime Report. You made Moderna one of your stock summit picks, and you mentioned this event upcoming. These are good results. Market seems to like it. Give me your read here. Yeah, so I, I just spoke to Stefan Bonsell who's the CEO of Moderna, he, he's in Davos, so kind of up to, uh, to, for him to give me the time. These are great results. If you take a look there at their COVID vaccine, the top COVID vaccine of anybody else, including Pfizer. The RSV, there are a couple other drug companies they're working on, they've got the best results. So people have to realize, as I keep saying, this is a technology company. You've digitized, or at least Moderna has, treatment for individuals. Unlike pharma companies traditionally, they're not reinventing or trying to starting from ground zero for new vaccines, new therapeutics. This is the technology that they have to use, which is why it will be the most valuable life science company in the world and is well on their way. So they bought vouchers ahead of time before the results came out so they can fast track the approval. That's what they're going to do. I bought more stock as soon as the results hit the tape. And mm. I'm just looking forward to the ride tomorrow and going forward. There's more to come. Again, you can replicate this. It's not like going out and trying to find a cure for one disease and then you got to go back and start from the beginning. No, the groundwork is late. And let's not forget, forget their cancer vaccine also that had great results. And they're partnering with work on that. So, look, this is working out great.